Oh, look, dear brother. It's mother. Oh, mother. She always detested Christmas. She always acted so put out about it. Such a bore. It's hard to believe it's been almost 25 years since she's been gone. I wonder what she thought of the last Christmas oh. gift we sent her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I hate it. She got what she deserved. I only wish we could have seen her face. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, mother. <laughs> up at the craft fair. Isn't it festive? Yes, very festive. May I see it, please? No, no, I, I can't quite. Would you take it off, please? Thank you. No, no, Miss, no, no. I made myself perfectly clear. There are never to be any doodads or gee-gaws from that holiday in this house. Everyone could use a little Christmas cheer here and there. My house, my rules. If you don't like it, there's the door. Now, if you're still in my employ, clean it up. And how long am I supposed to wait for breakfast? certain I don't know what you're talking about, Cora. What exactly is it we're supposed to be discussing? The reason that Chris the holidays make you so sad. Cora, I don't pay you to interfere in my personal life. It's none of your business. Now, if you finish tidying up, you may remove the tray and continue your duties on the rest of the house. 
Yes, miss. Oh, Cora, don't look so glum. Perhaps one dark, stormy night I'll tell you all of my secrets. But for now, it's a beautiful sunny day in December. So, off you go. Yes, miss. Christmas, miss. But nobody knows where I am. Nobody knows I'm alive. like we're gonna have a wet Christmas. Been raining all day. Good for the flowers, I guess. Uh, right, miss? Cora, why did you deliberately disobey me and bring in that package? That's not from me, miss. I told you it came in the mail this morning. Why haven't you opened it? Cora, let me make myself perfectly clear. I want you to take that package down to the furnace and burn it. That's just silly, miss. What? The holidays come every year, whether you're ready for them or not. Now I'll just leave it right there in case you change your mind. Get you anything? I thought I heard a noise in the other room. No, 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 no. That is your imagination. Every window and door in the house is locked up tight, and old Cora here is the only one with the key. Cora, come and sit by me. I have a little story. It was Christmas time, exactly 25 years ago. I received a package in the mail from my children. It was quite a surprise because they never sent anything to me. They were hateful, horrible brats, defiant, disobedient. Grew up to be horrible, hateful people. From the moment they left home, I never heard a peep from them unless they wanted something usually money. So when I received a gift from them, I was a little taken aback. Well, now that I think of it, I would hardly call it a gift. You see, in the box was a little wooden man, a nutcracker. I could tell right away there was something wrong with it. And I tried to throw it away. But the damn thing kept coming back. You see, it was alive. It was alive and it wanted to kill me. It damn near did. How so? What did you think it was doing? I didn't think it was doing anything. I know it was trying to kill me. 
I was there. And if you're going to be deliberately insulting, then you just can just get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, miss. Go on. Put the needle away, Cora. I assure you, I'm not having a fit of hysterics. Now, do you want to hear the story or not? Of course, miss. It attacked me. It left me for dead. Nobody believed me. Everybody thought I was insane. And I've been in hiding ever since. And then this box shows up out of nowhere. I know what's in it. It must be destroyed. I know what's in it too. It's a very thoughtful Christmas present that someone has sent to you, miss. Maybe it is one of those goo gogs or got gooks that you say you don't like, but deep down, I think maybe you do like them. What I can't figure out is how they found me after all this time. Who knows? Maybe some little birdie wrote to your children and told them that you were still alive. And those same children were so delighted to hear that you were still alive, they wanted to send you a beautiful Christmas present to show their love and appreciation. Cora, go draw me a bath before I fire you or kill you. I haven't decided which yet. Take that thing with you. Everybody needs a little holiday cheer now and then, whether they admit it or not. Besides, it looks like someone couldn't wait till Christmas to open up their gift. starting to prune. Son of a bitch, Cora. When I get out of here, I am going to fire you. just trying to be.
stolen 25 Christmases from me. And I've had enough. Enough running. Enough hiding. This ends now. Want me? Come and get me, you little fucker. up tight. Cora's got the only key.
Merry Christmas, you little bastards. <laughs> 